Hello, Chris Green here, the Flood Insurance Guru. Today we're here at Main Street and we're talking about what we're gonna start calling Moratorium March. What exactly does this mean? Well, you know, March and April is when a lot of these spring storms start coming in. We're already seeing a lot of this through Alabama. Long track tornadoes. You're definitely gonna start seeing it across areas like Minnesota, which this is the time of year when it starts to cause rapid snow melt, which can cause a lot of flood problems. We're already seeing more storms in Tennessee from some of these storms coming in. This is not the first time, and this is not the second time. This is probably the third time in March. And you're gonna be seeing a lot of this in March and April, maybe even in May. When you get into areas like Colorado, you know, you may not see it till May or June when it starts to warm up. But we like to call it more tour in March here at the Flood Insurance Guru. And what this means is that if you're looking at a private flood insurance policy, they may put what's called a moratorium in place where you can't place new business with them until some of these threats, these flash flood warnings, and even watches go away. You know, we see it happening a lot across the Southeast this time of year. So this is what moratorium March means. You know, how does it impact the National Flood Insurance Program? It generally does not because the National Flood Insurance Program does not put moratoriums in place like private flood insurance companies do. So that's important to remember. If you have a closing coming up and you're using a private policy, you know, keep that in mind if you're in an area that is looking at a lot of rainfall. It's got a lot of bad weather coming through, like Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, even South Carolina. These can all be issues here. So it's important to understand this. So if you've got questions about what to do in these situations, how to maybe get around it so that you can get closed on your new house, then make sure to visit our website, floodinsuranceguru.com. Remember, we have an educational background flood mitigation, which we're going to have to understand flood this right here. Your flood insurance and mitigating your property long-term. Thank you.